What is up YouTube? Today we are in the shop and we are fixing some stuff up. If you watched the video yesterday, you'll see that there's a big white Kenworth with some big white trains in the shop and they're about to get work done and it has been a fun day of doing tires. But let me tell you what, you're about to see. All right, welcome to the video. <laughs> okay, good morning, good morning. Where are we going? Take me to the office. Let's go. Can you open this door for me? Fine, I'll get it. All right, like I said, we are gonna work on these trains here. And this whole back row is gonna get some new tires today because there's one that's leaking, but it's two down to fix. So, change them all. But I need a space this out with little pieces of wood so then when I go to blast the bead on it's not crazy so here we go spacing out rubber oh yeah we are spaced out because that gap was way too small so now we'll let them sit like that and when we pull the boards out, it'll go right back to tight, but it'll be at least a bit better than it was. All right, now to take these back four off. That covers off. Big old airline. Well, when you can't find the tool to get them off, you just become the tool to get them off. <laughs> Got him. And we'll be needing a little piece of wood. Well, jack stands make it safe. So we move the tires under the heater. So it should blow some heat down while I'm taking these puppies off this side and get them a little more spaced out and easier to go back on. This one is flat. Now we switch the tires, take them off, and put them back on.
bar saw, a paint thinner, to lube up the tire. So this rim I will take and pressure wash and unfortunately with that last set of tires they were really tight together and that's why we spaced them out but we had to take Murphy's and fill the gap and then be able to fill the tire and it wastes a lot and it makes a crazy big mess apparently but that's just the way it had to go so the way she is we'll clean her off and uh, hopefully not have to do that with this round but maybe we'll see. And this is the Golden Buddy mounting tool. I definitely recommend getting one because I'm about to show you how quick and easy I'll do these next three. The unmounting, or the remounting tool it comes with isn't that great. You might as well just use a bar with a hook. I'll show you that too. But anyway, this thing works mint. But you need that piece of wood to hold up the tire and let the rim drop. And then that thing can get its hooks underneath it and pull her off that last little bit. They should sell it with this piece of wood, so if you're listening and you make these, sell that. These ones were all clean, but this one has definitely had our Murphy's trick done to it, so it needs a wash off. Well, that looks about a million times better. That brand new, well, kind of new. Tire should seat right on there fine now. Good job. Well, it is about the time where I take one of these tires, I lube it up at the Murphy's around, which is the bead sealer, helps it slide onto the rim. Take all these pieces of wood out and try flopping her onto a rim. I'm hoping it's gonna work, but We'll see. They've been in like this for a good, I don't know, hour now maybe, so. Should have really done it like last night or on Friday and got them ready for the weekend. But, oh well. If they are going to be a pain in the arse, then that's just the way she's going to be. We'll see. So you're going to want a spoon with this hook on it. I mean, a flat spoon will work. Or like a regular flat one, but... These ones really do a good job for putting the tire back on. There's a regular flat spoon. So I'll bring one of those just in case we need it. This is Murphy's Tire and Tube Mounting Compound. Stevens Transport. And if you've never seen it before, that's what she looks like. Basically just soap.
Bill right there. <laughs> Bead blaster? Bill, come on. <laughs> You're not helping. So now you know why we do this, and we should have done this way earlier, <laughs> because, oh, that tire is not wanting to go on. We were so close, and then she fell off. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Let's go get a second bead blaster is the next step. They don't want to get up, don't we? No way. All right, well that is not working like it usually does, so we're gonna get the second bead blaster. All right, let's go. Let's go get, no, not out there. We're going to the truck. Come on. We're going to get the second bead blaster. Show us how you get in. No, not that front spot. There you go, get in. Good boy. All right, to the neighbors. And here we are at the neighbor's place. Hopefully they got a bead blaster that they're not using. Thank you kindly, neighbor. We'll be back with her once we get these tires on. If we get these tires on, holy moly. Bill, put your seatbelt on. Never mind, don't worry about it. We're back at the yard. Alrighty, let's try this thing again. Well, this tire better be scared now. <laughs> what a mess, oh my god. And remember, that was full. Yeah. 
Okay, try and take it all out, stand it up, and double blast it like you usually do? Sure, try it. Yeah. It just about went. Uh, but the problem is now we get so much shit inside the fucking tire. Yeah. We got her. We didn't use all the Murphy, so that's good. Got that double bead blaster going, and yeah, she worked. And we'll go clean this puppy right off. Here's an old weapon I haven't seen moving in a while, the big blue bandit. I'm about to open up the shop door so that sun comes out, holy. What's up, Mr. Sun? That big blue crane truck there is what we used to load the tires with. She'll pick them all, big and small, put them in there. Let me go get that tire, we're gonna blow her off. All right, everybody, so that is all the tires taken off the old rims, and we put the new tires on the old rims, and it was a pain in the butt, as you just seen. We had to get two bead blasters, used a whole bunch of Murphys like we usually do, but luckily, the two bead blasters lifted it up enough and got it onto the rim so we could air it up. Anyways, let's get these tires back on that trailer and get these trailers out the door.
And we'll buzz these side on, and then we're gonna assess this axle. Yes, sir. Back up she goes. Why aren't you out helping us? Just having a break. 10 4. Well, I kind of did this one to myself. Now we're doing a whole nother row of tires. Oh, we thought those last ones were tight, but holy. <laughs> These ones are not good. <laughs> good times. So we're going to space out two of these for later on in the future, and then we're going to use two of these for right now. Ooh, it's going to be fun. good at all <laughs> oh boy Well, we got an inner and an outer. These ones aren't going on because they need spaced out. These babies are already on rims. Inner, outer, we're good to go. That'll make the job even easier. On they go. On, on, next side. 
Well, she's torquing time. Love lights. The more lights, the less problems, as they say. Get them nut covers back on, and these can go out. And we will go return this to the neighbor who so kindly lent it to us. I'm just gonna charge my phone here, Bill. Don't worry about me, buddy. Oh, well, hello, Mr. White friend. Oh, good to see you this morning. Beauty. Good and safe. Torqued on, ready to roll. Beauty day. And this side is looking beautiful until we get these lights fixed and then they'll be backing out and on to the next project. And here we go. Hello, white boy. We've had them in. We got them out, got the lights working. A bunch of new tires that you just got to see were not too much fun. What's next? Bill, what do you think? What's next in the shop? Okay, video's over. So there you have it. We changed some tires <laughs> and they did not go well. We went and got the neighbor's bead blaster and luckily we did that because that actually made it a lot easier. As you can see, we tried to do our Murphy's trick, which usually works, but these tires were just way too far gone. And then we went and got some more tires that were basically touching and we just said, screw it, we're not using those. We found some that are already on rims, we slap them on quick and they'll be good to go. And those trailers are good to go, their lights are fixed, they're out the door, they're back in the yard, ready to go trucking tomorrow. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. My back definitely hurts from it. And I am going home because tomorrow we are going salt hauling and we are going to somewhere new and we are going to somewhere new. As I sit here and watch my video from yesterday that I just posted, I realized that I did not say, make sure you leave me a like, make sure you comment what you thought of the video and make sure you subscribe for more. We'll see you on the next one.